Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this special Eve of Christmas Eve, I will sprinkle in some wonderful Christmas and holiday pictures for you through this shave. In this shave, I am using my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. That is real horn scales and it is a wedge. Very nice. Yes, it is. Now for our soap tonight. Again, I have something special. All right, look at this. Cologne Rouge from Barrister and Man. And this is, to me, a bright, citrusy, kind of crisp, warm, inviting scent based on one of the oldest forms of perfume from Russia. Very nice. And thank you, by the way, George. I really appreciate you turning me on to this. I think it's going to be a lovely shave tonight. Now I have had the puck blooming. I'm going to pour off that bloom water and we're going to put that on as a pre-shave. Yep. All right. Oh, and what a marvelous scent this has. Hmm. Nice. Oh, very good. Now get those hands clean and dry it off. Now for my brush tonight, there you go. We're using the Connecticut Quarter Brush. That is a 22 millimeter Maggard Razor Synthetic Knot. That I made here, yeah. We go ahead and get that wet and let's get that soap loaded up. All right. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. I really think it is. And what a marvelous scent. This really has fantastic scent. It is Barrister Man. And uh, I tell you, I think it's going to be a marvelous shave tonight. Yep. Now, now one thing I can tell you though, um, this seems to be a really hard soap. And... Uh, not sure if that's normal, but it's okay with me. I have a lot of hard soaps and I can deal with that without a problem. Yep, and I think we're just about there. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, here we go. Yeah, I think, I think that's gonna do it. I do just get some of this craziness from around the bowl and get it on. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh. And again, like I say, marvelous scent. It really is. And we're gonna get that out from inside of the bowl and put that on the brush. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get those hands Nice and clean. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? All right, let's do this. Let's get our lather on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, just two days before Christmas. Mm-hmm. And hopefully you are well and you're having a good weekend and not stressed out <laughs> over this holiday coming up, right? Yeah, I know a lot of people get stressed at this time of year, but just relax, enjoy it. You know, it's really, it's a good time to be with family and friends, just like on the weekend. You know, it's just, this is normally a little bigger deal, and people uh, tend to make a little bit bigger deal out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, at our house, we don't make a huge big deal out of it. But, you know, each to his own, you know, do whatever works for you, whatever your family tradition is, that is fine. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully 
you do get a chance to uh, be with family and friends. Yeah. Wow, this is good. Marvelous scent. I feel like I could put more water on it. And I may have uh, overloaded the brush again. You know, all these new soaps and everything, the trick with them is, uh, you know, you got to figure out the right water to soap ratio and all of that. Get that mixture just dialed in just right. And for me, I, I like it dialed in where it's nice and thick. Yeah, I like that thick, cushiony lather. And, uh, you know, for me, that works really well. But I know everybody's got their own preference, and that is fine. Now, click up here to see last Friday's special where we do a point of view straight razor shave for beginners. I think it will be helpful for you and you can really get in close and see some nice shots. All right. Now, I also get my ideas for these straight razor edge Friday specials from you. So down in the description, go ahead, leave me a question, a comment, a suggestion, maybe even an idea for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you. All right. So now this is pass one, which is primarily with the grain. Let's do this. Here we go. Nice. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Now it's been a while since I used this razor as well, but uh, this is a good one. Definitely. Again, out of the 1800s. 
So that is nice. All right, there we go. It's looking good. Yeah. Nice. Pass one complete. Yep. Very good. Now, get that rinsed off. Oh, nice. Not only does it have good cushion, but fantastic slickness. I just got, got it wet again, and it's really got a nice, nice slickness to it. So that's good. Alright, now, pass two. Let's get our lather on. And, let me tell you, give me a hashtag new down in the comments if you're new around here. And if you have any uh, questions and comments, put that down in the comments as well. That would be great. We can welcome you into the community and it's just good to have you so just come on along for the ride and we will do this straight razor shaving thing yeah we will we're gonna put a little more water on that kick it up all right and i do these straight razor shave of the day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So stop on by for that. That would be good. You know, you can join into the conversation. And we'd love to have you. And you can uh, you can ask all the questions you want and all of that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we have a great community here that is very supportive and encouraging. So we are good at that. And, like I say, if you have any comments or questions, just put them down there. Put them down there in the comments. And not only will I answer them, I'm sure other people will as well. Mm -hmm. We have some fantastic people here. And, by the way, down in the description, I have got a ton of links to straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists down there. So you can check that out, and I bet you'll find something that you're interested in as well. There's all kinds of stuff. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? I think we can still put a little bit of water on that. Let's do it. Okay. Also, I got another new announcement for you. We now have access 
to the community tab on this channel. So it's kind of like Facebook as far as posting. And you can feel free to contact me on that as well. And we'll, uh, we're going to just start having all of the Adventures in Wet Shaving Insiders go there. And uh, we can keep carrying on these conversations. And I think it's going to be brilliant. Mm -hmm. So you check that out as well. Wow, is that fantastic? Oh, nice. That is really nice. Now, let's see if I can get my hands dried off. It has some nice residual slickness to it. All right, so now this is pass two, and for me, primarily that's gonna be against the grain. Here like this. This and this is gonna be a mixed bag, but this is gonna be totally against the grain and the way I hit my chin in the beginning will be against the grain. Let's do this. Oh, nice. That is so good. Yes, it is. Now, get switch hands, get this side. All right, look at the peaks on that. Isn't that great? <laughs> Must not have prepped quite as good as I thought I did. All right. So we're going to put some soap on that. And I think that's going to be fine. There we go. No big deal. Yep. Does make it a little harder to stretch though, doesn't it? <laughs> oh well. Oh, 
Yeah, this is nice slick soap. We're gonna try again. Well, where is it? Maybe it's fine. Maybe right there. Let's let's say that was it. All right. <laughs> Again, it'll be fine. No big deal. Just hit a bump, and uh, it'll all be good. Yes, it will. Now we're gonna switch hands. Get this side. Yep. Nice. All right. Now, let's finish this pass off. There you go, pass two complete, and it felt good, it really did. Just hit that one little bump, no big deal. And, oh, definitely this uh, seems to be really slick, maybe heavy on the uh, butters, it seems like. It has got some serious butter in it. It is so good. Yeah. And super slick. Super. I do like that. I do. That is always fantastic. Now, time for the half pass. If you haven't seen the half pass reviewed and reloaded, click there. Okay. That is the updated version, and that will show this half pass in more detail. Basically, I'm going across the grain, or against the grain, on my jawline and my neck, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is what I found works for me, and uh, it seems to work for other people as well, so it may be something to look at. Mm-hmm. Okay, and look at that. Fantastic lather. And look at that, the bump is fine. No big deal. All right, now, here we go. <laughs> yeah, getting that everywhere. All right, this is the half pass. Let's do this, all right? We'll get this going.
sweet. That is nice. Yep. Yes, it is. Now, we'll switch hands, get this other side. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, that's good. It is really good. In a fabulous scent. Oh yeah, another shave in the books. Yep, that was a good one, definitely. Now, we did hit one bump. It actually looks fine. Looks fine right now. Doesn't even look like a problem. And like I say, it's not really a problem. It didn't, yep. All right, next up, album everywhere. Yep, we get that going. Oh yeah, nice. And we dry that off. It is astringent and antiseptic at the same time, which is cool. Now for aftershave, look at this. Cologne Rouge. So this is the matching aftershave. Very nice. Yep, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't tried it, so. I think it's gonna be marvelous though. Let's do it. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Alright, we're keeping it simple tonight. That's gonna have uh yeah, it's gonna have witch hazel in it, which is like really cool. You know, I like witch hazel. I do. Alright. Click up here to watch the best how to start straight razor shaving series you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.